Well, first off, thank you, Spy, for coming in and getting this sort of behind the scenes part of this exhibit, Mark's exhibit, Chasing the Silver. Um, as many people know who've heard about it, it's about uh, the 40 years that Mark has painted the America's Cup, the Whitbread races, uh, the Global Challenge, the Star Boats, all of the racing boats, if you will, other than the log canoes, but we have a plan for that. But, you know, it, it came about sort of oddly. Um, the show that we traditionally do in June is sort of just a, a fun one. We'll pick a subject, we'll do something around it. We did portraits one year. We've done, you know, um, I can't even remember the other, the other ones we've done, but we, we'll pick a subject and we sort of develop it. The main show that Mark does is always the last week in October and it's done in conjunction with downrigging and that's where all the new work is. In this particular exhibit, the paintings um, start in 1987 and they go to 2016. So there's no new work. This is really work that we were able to borrow and, and to find in back files and produce this retrospective. Did you work with him back then? You know, I mean, how did that I've work? been working with Mark for over 30 years, but no, I didn't. Um, at that time, he, he had been working with the Mystic Maritime Museum in uh, Connecticut, and J, uh, Russell Janetian, um, who was a curator and very, very well known in the maritime art world. Um, he had Mark's work up in his galleries in the Connecticut area, and he was particularly interested in the big races. So he, he never really showed Mark's Eastern Shore pieces, but the races, definitely, because that was sort of his clientele. I think he we did some work with Sea History Magazine and others. But we did, I think Mark forgot that he had these paintings up there, because I guess just this year, Janetian said, well, I have some things I'm going to send back to you. So this mother load of wonderful paintings arrive. Mark brings them in and shows them to me. I'm kind of like, well, hell, uh, why, don't, why, don't we, why don't we do something around this? And so from those early conversations, you know, I realized that, and Mark too, that he had, he had work that went back to 1987. He went through his files and I had some pieces tucked away that he had, he had somehow or another given me. Um, and then we realized we had clients here that we could borrow pieces back from. So the idea of a retrospective of this 40-year period of Mark's career um, just kind of bloomed. And, and before we knew it, I mean, there's some 64 pieces of work in this show. And Mark has shown for the first time, in all these years I've known him, he's never shown his pen and ink drawings. Uh, he's never shown his, his cartoons. He has the most wonderful, they're not political, but they're, um, they certainly are political about the races he's been involved in and the people he was involved in with. Uh, it, just, it just sort of grew. And, and the more we had an opportunity to go through the back files, the more work we were able to pull together for this. So when people come, they're going to start back there in the 1980s with Dennis Connor. They're going to move all the way up here to the front of the gallery and come to the Global Challenge. But all of that is great. And anybody who's interested can go to the website and they can, uh, we, we have a beautiful interview that's going to be published shortly where Mark talks about every one of these paintings. Um, and that's interesting and exciting, and I encourage people to go do all that and come in and see the show. But for me, for me, this show has a very, very different quality. I've had a gallery for some 30 years, and for 30 years I've represented Mark. And in that time period, I've had so many artists that I've worked with, and I've had the opportunity to see them, to see them grow to see how their styles change, to see what their subject matters are, to, to be part of an artist's life, if you will. But as with all of us, you know, that's stuff we remember. This show, we're putting it together, and I'm realizing on the walls in this gallery is this man's life. I mean, really his life, as it relates to these big races. You'll go in the back gallery and you'll see all of his uh, press passes and you'll watch his hairline recede. And 
that's a funny story, but, but it also is how many of us really get the chance to look back on a 40-year span of our careers, to walk in a room and have it be on the wall, to have memories connected to every one of these paintings of the people that they worked with and interacted with. I mean, even in putting together this show, um, Mark reached out to John Wright. John Wright lives here in the Chestertown area, and he was very involved with the America's Cup, and he also has been involved with the U.S. Navy sailing team. And Mark and he sat down and, and went through the paintings, and John would say, oh, this is going to really show you know, how this race is handled or what technique is being used here or what the men are doing. And that was exciting because it's technical. But then Mark would also be looking at them and thinking about the stories behind it and how he felt as this, when he started, young painter out there learning. Some of his best stories are about how the photojournalists that he went out on the boats with um, shared with him their techniques, how to get a good shot. Um, the friendships that he made. Almost every opportunity that he had to do this work came from a friend of a friend or an introduction. That generosity of spirit that I often see among artists where you, you provide that next introduction, that next introduction. So he was able to continue to follow this particular subject. So it's a subject. Um, he's using his medium of watercolor. But to me, the most exciting part is his life. Each, each one of these paintings is an aspect of Mark's life.